Togo za ni uh, right. I don't even know if I did this properly. Togo za ni bukosi ni my duke is undoing itself as I'm trying to do this. Wait, let me just put this nicely. I'm disorganized because you come what what a day it has been I'm telling you it's been a very rough day so I'm just going to wrap this up uh, wrap it up and get to the lesson Tokozani I'm Goko Lerato Goko Kanda Lembuwe whichever one that you would like um, so I've had actually a lot of interesting questions from last week uh, last week's broadcast it was so exciting i promise you um about ukutwasa i i do feel that some of the concepts that i was explaining were a bit complicated so we're actually going to continue from there but we're going to take a different angle this time um ukutwasa and the ego uh, i think this one is going to be a little bit rough uh, for some, because we all have a lot of horror stories about what has happened um, and how we have been mistreated. So this will always be the message that I will give um, whenever I want to give a teaching. And this is something that I think is absolutely important. We must remember that um, we are actually differentiations of the ultimate source. So we are God who has taken itself up and broken itself up into different bodies, into different images, um, and has sort of said to itself, let me forget that I'm divine, that I may experience it in the world and remember that I am omnipotent. So what does this have to do with the ego? Um, this has got everything to do with the ego because Actually, by definition, everything that is created, everything that is, is God itself. Um, the ego is, call it the image, the external view of what God would be, right? So most people, when they say the soul, um, the soul is made up of the ego and other components, emotions. It's like an aggregate of emotions and experiences, uh, which is what makes living so important because as a spirit, you have always known that you are divine. You've always known that within you, you could create anything and be anything. But the journey in this world has, has reminded you through a lot of difficult situations and a lot of victorious moments for you, um, what your sole purpose is for. So, your sole purpose is made up of your ego, the external view of yourself, what you think you are. Um, we would say it is the, the image in the mirror. But in truth, um, we know that spiritually, that image in a, in a mirror, in the mirror, the mirror itself, the wall that the mirror is on, all of those things are just spiritual gifts and none of them are real. Um, the only thing that is real is the divine being and the divine being is love. So this is a common trend, right? You go for a reading, you find out you've got a spiritual calling. Uh, you get a gobela or your twasam. Uh, people have been warned. You, you get warned that, yes, you must dream of ugobela wako, tala and... You must go through certain processes, but you don't really know. You know, this Gobella is promising you the world. You know, you feel like you're finally part of a greater thing. You're part of something amazing. You're going to become this thing that you never thought you could be because in your life, you did not feel that you had purpose. And now suddenly somebody says to you, you've got purpose and your purpose is to heal people. And you go, go Gobella and Gobella basically 
you go there with such great and wonderful expectations. Uh, you're making promises. You're so excited. But as you get there, the veil in front of your eyes slowly gets unraveled. That it's like you've signed up to be in a hellhole. And you go through all sorts of pain, all sorts of abuse, psychological, emotional, spiritual even. And you feel stranded. You feel stranded. You feel like you've got no way to be. So why? Why is it that Badimu allow us to go into those spaces? I mean, they could have really come or through a prophet. Why? 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 And it really goes back to the ego. Remember now, the ego is a bunch of emotions and feelings and thoughts aggregated to create this this external view of who you are but in in no truth the ego is actually the exemption of god for the sake of others that's actually what it is ego exempting god you know to please others so that's lesson number one, actually, of Khobangak, or to be spiritual. This ego needs to be um, addressed. And Ukobela is the perfect person to do that for you. So you go there. And the first thing that the Gobela does is belittle you. And the reason why Badimu do not intervene in such um, instances is because Rilibato really dingak, really spiritual people, the moment we hear that we have a calling or that we are special, we begin to even isolate ourselves from our family members. For some reason, that same ego, we use that eye of the ego to cast judgment upon the people in the family. Chances are, all along, you thought, Tori, your mom, Ota Huang, is a nothing. You can't introduce her to your family and your to your friends. Chances are Malumakaru Otawang Osa Nyalang you felt or nagasakunyadis. Chances are your grandmother because Habirik. You feel or the new love of your life who's driving a fancy car or who's speaking really good English. You feel Horianu Waswa Bayanu. Or um is it to this grandmother's house. So the, the whole process of Khotwasa, we already spoke about it last week, Khotwasa Kelenyalo, right? And when you start to go into the space where you are spiritual, ukena mulinyalong, but ukena yang mulinyalong, hue ubona mama kako anyatsecha, where you see your father, una limbana all over the show, um, ele and nothing. Who are you healing? Who exactly is it that you're healing? You go, we all go into this. We all have had this mindset where you think now, you know, now you know better than Baholu Bamuntum. You know, you know better than everyone else because you know, guess what? The the uncle Yanakale Bulesa Black Label. So what does he know about spirituality? Wena now Utlu Bangaka. Utlu Fasa di Faha wena ube muntle ugite ubereke batu. So that is the most important thing. Thing. That is the most important element about breaking the ego. And that is why Gobela is important. Gobela is not representing a person. Gobela is a life lesson. And the purpose of Gobela is to make sure that when you do not become so attached to the idea of being a particular thing, um that everything else starts to feel like you, you don't become attached to thinking that God or Badimu are one way or, and not another. You don't start to think that I am gifted because I deserve it. I am gifted because I am smart, I'm beautiful, I'm whatever. You don't start to begin that. But it is part of the journey. We do 
all begin to think that. When we when we start, we all think that. You know, if we talk about you know, the children now, the full list here, you have one tellers. If we talk about how you can in tellers, and you're the one now who wants to prescribe to the family how things should be, right? And most of the time, that family ya kana korwilo tuasa. By the way, uh, because intrinsically in our in our in, in our truth, by Jimu they can communicate li hobo. In in our truth, we are spirit. So family ele tawa malumo lo tawa ngoko botor but why unka chale tadi biya we isa kumuto ailo kutwasis kibunga kabai. And you feel like Malume doesn't understand. You feel like Malume yene, you know, upaletu ke life yake. So why should you listen to him? Enter Gobela. So, mero kwa Gobela is to make sure that your your thoughts, your ideas about what or who you thought you were, they break completely. A Gobela's job, um, your Gobela is universally attached to you or called upon by you they are there to insult you they are there to belittle you they are there to make sure that you you are malnutritioned they are there to make sure that you extend yourself beyond any way physically possible they are there to break you they are there to break you psychologically they are there to hurt you Kobela is not there to build you. Um, and this lesson by Dimu Bakako will never keep you away from it because where now you need to redefine Kore, who are you? So as you go on, now Okoli Fetunga Bona Koro Kihwani now. Um normally we know most of us are left halfway or redochite or whatever the case. The lesson becomes one. The lesson becomes one. Msamo uko hai. Msamo uko ba jingba kako ba tabe lwa nting. Kuba pashe lwa nting. Lali karli wa tuwa kereke. Where you guys meet as a family. Msamo uko kako hai. Msamo was never established. Kunga king. Msamo was never established at a kobela's house. So that is the purpose. And mo kuna li msamo kuna li badimu. Now the question becomes msamo ukwa mang. Msamo ukwa mama o ta khwang o silweng ke monna ga ge le bo malume ba sa berekeng. Ke bone beng ba msamo ya no. So at the end of the day you realize now that Gobela was trying to show you that the lesson behind Gobela was go back to msamo wa gago. In as much as bo pelo ba gago o fila gore wa go swabisa would you rather o swabiswe ke bophelo ba gago o sotlwe ke mme o iseng mmago then o ye kwa yenu u lo sokola u je papa le cabbage with your family so ukuthwasa has been very much you know aligned with gaining knowledge from external forces but the very the very doing of that is representative of the ego because the ego is just going leaving your god within and going to find him outside which actually if you think about it from a universal place no one actually can do anything outside of the spirit of god because god is all that there is so i think hore we sometimes complain gabo gobela we sometimes complain and we get so angry hore re kutiwa ke bo mme ba isembo marona but chances are, how could you eighty thousand ke gobela? O stin chukut kwa yen. You never thought to part with money. And if if you get heartbroken, sorry, if you get heartbroken ke gobela who promises you the world, is because you never got to invest in your relationships kwa yen. So the issue yaba dimuk, they can always they do that a lot. An issue yabone or a lesson yabone because Baba na horwe na how batu mamela mukai. They send mutakundi. Baku rumela horulu jali di farik so that you can come home and find yourself and find who you are. 
So that is the first archetype. That is the first thing that is peeled back on this journey. The ego. Uh, the ego. The ego is so... It's the reason why we can't really transcend beyond who we are now and what we can do. Because we are after the image. Is it Trukita? What is it? If I had to tell you that Nasi Dimusaka doesn't ase as a pahami or Sidi Musaka since Mukoba, would that not still make me a healer? And as a person, as a spirit, as you go through this journey, um what is your journey about? Jenny A Ewingang to heal your ancestors, to heal the karmic debt in your life, to remedy past pains, you know, to be the sacrificial lamb. This remedy, yako by the sacrificial lamb. You know, you've got to first establish that. And that is where Msamo comes in. And that is where we don't get it. That's where you will find a person saying, I need to slaughter this. I need to slaughter that. I need to go meeting. I need to get to get to All of those things are components of the ego. You are feeding an external force. You've exempt God. Out of the whole purpose of why you're doing this. And now, Uliliki say, Kotlava and whatnot, whatnot. What if Sidi Musakwa Yenu Sarata casted in jail and then that's it? So, I think I'm going to kind of, you know, wrap up Tabaya Yabu Gobela. I really hope that a lot of people will get perspective. A Gobela is never meant to treat you good. And yes, the feelings of resentment and hatred that we have towards them. We are meant to, we are supposed to have them. Because firstly, Asibu Mamarona. But the lesson that I learned from my Gobela was that I found it so difficult to accept my own mother's alcoholism. Yet now she has passed Kibata Mutwasa. How do I expect Kibata my mother when I could not make peace with a lot of things in her life? Why can I not take that money and feed my family? Because Bungaka is not about just healing. It is about the family. Feed my family. Muketua graduation. It's not meant. But preferably. And it was a very bitter lesson for me to learn. That I had lost myself to a point. That the number one commandment in the Bible that you shall have no other God. I forgot it. I forgot it. I idolized this woman who came from God knows where, you know, marginalizing my own family, my own mother, my own grandmother, marginalizing and I followed this woman and I paid her to teach me to become something in is coming from is the fruit is the fruit of my grandmother i'm a product i'm a product of my grandmother's moment in love had she not chosen to have that moment in love in gratitude for herself and for my granddad i most certainly would not be here however i went out and i sought out this calling from gunachin so, you know, who are we? Who are you? Do you want to know, Hori, is it a great granddad? Do you want to know, Hori, una limdao, wa muna or wa ntati, wa muna or wa musadi? Is that what is important? Or is it the universal lesson? Is it the tears of our ancestors who've gone through hundreds of years of pain and slavery? If you really think about it, um, five, six generations back was right in the middle of slavery. Maybe 10, maybe 20 generations back. 
These people that we want to resurrect into our lives, Kajiko, they had died under extremely difficult situations. And they come back to us in this life, giving us a gift. Not a gift, but a gift that we should actually go back home and to realize that the problems that we are facing as Africans, the problems that we are facing as Batwabanzo, are problems in order they are beyond us. They are problems that is similar to So we look at alcoholism, we look at certain social behaviors. And we we believe now, but in the white way. That is why now there is the separation. That is why now we have come up with these laws to become a particular thing. It should be outside of the permission of those who have brought you here. If you want to become great, you need to throw away certain things or rather certain people. Why have we gotten to that point as Africans where our spirituality now has been chained with a slave's mind? But we are practicing it in with a slavery mentality because it's a mentality of lack. If we did not have that mentality, Gobela would know. Gobela would know. They are the first. Gobela would know. Gobela would know that the life setup, the setup, Gobela would never ask you for 80,000. And you would also not be willing to give 80,000. You would think about the many sleepless, the many nights, and you would feel in your heart. We would know to be able to say no. Um, I've, I've met a few people that I always say to them that banali pion dao spirits. And the trend that I found, Gabatwa Nali Mandao, Baba Pio, is that A Abatwas. Asabatwasam. B, they get divine wisdom from Badim Babone directly. But the common thing that these people Babote is one. They are all investing in their homes. Even Lami Lao Yakuma Habone Elitat. Their priority is home. Ababe Batokunte priority. That is why these people will never ask anybody outside of their home, Horki Lori Lintus also. Because it's the Ilimulao Waboni. And if that is the case, then why would Badimba Bone require them to go through a process of becoming something else? These people already know who they are. So I just I know this was a bit provocative today, and in actual fact, I'm warming up because um could look at what we have become. We have we have lost ourselves and we've lost even Le Mudim, Le Badim. We have become people that choose to express ourselves as one thing and not another. And the ego is a thing in Lahore, it will be peeled back and broken time and again. But it's part of, of becoming who you are. And Badimu will continue to send you through a series of learnings and unlearnings so that you as a spirit don't ever become attached to anything in this world. Because it is our attachment to these things that makes us think we are better than certain people. So the question actually that I hope we will start to begin to ask Dingaka. 
are ya go di reading we don't ask them gore ke thwasa mang because yeah we can tell you what they look like we can raba bona but actually the question should be kietse eng go gae ba di mba ka ba go gae ba ba phela mbareng because ke bone batho ba tlo bulelang sedimo you cannot o thwase o thwase modimo ntate we so thwase modimo morwa you can't even jesus christ says that that all everyone who wants to meet the father shall go through me so jesus christ was a physical manifestation of who god of the bible is molefatsing so jesus was morwa wa modimo your mom ke morwa wa koko o batlang go mothwasa ke moradi your dad ke morwa wa ntate mogolo mang mang so instead of maybe trying to find out gore ntate mogolo lo ke mang e bi kwen talk to ba golo are ske ra bana le lenyatso in our journey we should seek to be humble and that is why dinga ka re tsa makama o that is the purpose i i went for over a year go tshisa go bata ka lot mo fats and when i asked the questions why why ba dim and they said you need to connect with this earth that you came to we need you to always know that you are a vessel all the energy of this earth will circulate but it will touch you too and as you do that then you extend that same that same connection to other people so how do you make yourself ukhuma maka mangwele tokoza isin tokoza ya gore wena re ibe hey in whether ke ngaka whether ke motho mogolo you give you give your gift you give o fa se dimusa ga go le se dimusa the next person the opportunity to show you miracles so i can't tell you guys anything more as i said last week i've heard gore batho ba parola mndao na mndao wa ka ka mo parola mndao wa ka came on his own am fa ditaba tsa gagwe le mabaya gagwe but the reason was because o na itse gore i've got no no need ya gore ke tle ke tlo ko bolwa some of these processes radiates re tshola madi re tseka badimo but ra ba tseka now because now rona re khona mamela mla so it's a bit of a light a light lesson today um i didn't go as deep as i want but it's okay this is something that has been in my heart for a long time i know that dinga ka tse ding kwa buiwa gore you know we must start to become dinga ka tse ding modern ka ding domba tse ntle re skira be re kisa mabotlolo a di mayonnaise di dikopo tsa di coke but the bottle of the mayonnaise the cup of the coke they tell a story about where we come from as blacks we were people by we were top of sokolang we didn't have the the ability to rebuild the temples we didn't have the ability to re age di kereke so even when christianity came it became okay for us gore ke ne mo kerekeng because we never had those things we were a nation that has been under a lot of oppression so what did we do we always made use of what we had i'm not saying gore o ska bana le ntumba entle ntumba ya ka ya gore stembe ke ne le ntle too much it was beautiful ntumba ya ka ya gona no entle too much but we should not be stuck in things of the ego if all you've got o lingaka is skupu sa khoku gore o phekole motho you are reaching into the spirit part of you the part of that of you that is god that is divine you are reaching into a place outside of what your ego could ever understand so botlolo ya mayonnaise e tshwana le ego 
skupu sewe ke mtu sa mon, ya montefela dipudi tse o di eng unless if ili ki eli kwa yena um we become so easily ashamed of who we are and it's so sad that we do it even on this journey where we are supposed to be ourselves completely where we are supposed if o batla or ba dimba go ba dumela or setso sa go se dumela gore o kite o sa para o ntshitse matswele then reze o wantse ba tare khone rnale body shame ntse re le dingaka re we are spiritual we understand complexities of the spirit world that the body means nothing but raswaba rutla gore ya nong go tshela mo dikopong tsa coke maybe because that's all that the patient can afford or that's all that you can afford or that's 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 how you can speak how can you can express your gift maybe that's that's how but dilo tse o dira swabis we've culturized ourselves in such a way that har sa glory is what makes sense for us and not For the majority of my twasaka or rather my sisters in spirit but when shapa baba nke babona who have come to my place the the lesson is simple auji mo fatsa re ji mo fatsi because o le twasa you eat mo fatsi because i eat mo fatsi ko ndombenyaka i'm sharing with you what sidi musaka has given me and you can't come to my house o tlo bulela sidi musaka go because you're an honorable member Sidi musaho a ke bo honorable members bo honorable members you can't come to my house with rape i'll cook for you but you will enjoy that meal mufats because my gift is coming from a great 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 grandmother who never thought that she would have a granddaughter who would be who she is today My great 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 grandmother did not have the privilege gore a reke le bai she did have the privilege of having brown bread if we could really think about where we come from as a black nation we would really see our gifts in such a different way so that is my lesson to us to you guys in time i'm going to tell you guys how i came from way i'm describing you how how my great grandmother showed me the life that she had lived and how she showed me to turn that around it is only in humility that we can start to create wealth and if we can start to kill the ego then maybe re tla tswa mo dikolotong It's absurd. Go ruile o thwasa badim. Ba sa go feng chelet. But you need to make a loan. O rekela batho ba go ntle bo jwala. Bo jwala bo so bo rekela your own family. Really, let's let's revisit who we are. And think about why we are gifted. Ha o batla go thwasa, o thwasa mang. O thwasetsa mang. And then how fetsa go thwasa molemo kwa mang who are you benefiting do you want go thwasa thwasa tsa gore batho go bone because that's the ego that's the ego o thwasa tsa gore o gite that's the ego o thwasa tsa and i think if we can start to ask ourselves those questions and to realize the great sacrifice that our greats and our ancients have gone through that going through this journey looking like nobody else is going to be quite easy um so yeah to go za nike na le 34 minutes ke bua e bile ke pink o itse ke ke gathetse um i'm deeply humbled by the gift that i've been given because i cannot even begin to explain where it's taken me it's taken me to a lot of wonderful places and it's brought me lots of amazing experiences 
And these are all things that the ego cannot understand. They're all intangible. These are all things that if or ki experience it in to you it will put the word but as a chalet or as a ing as a Ferrari. Why? Why would she think that is important? But the most the most amazing thing that I got from Badimubak was transforming transforming a seemingly empty life into something that touched everyone around me. This gift has earned me a seat at a politician's table. It's earned me a seat at a lot of important places. This gift has had me have great dinner that I could never afford. This gift has brought me flowers this gift has transformed my life. And my wish to everyone is that they get to experience their own gift the same way. So, Togazani, have a good evening.